Hello Queen Victoria, this is week 10 of your music lessons online, I hope you enjoy. Today we are going to learn about articulation. This is when you are playing music and you are told how to play the notes by the use of symbols. For example, you could be told to play the note short or long or smooth. Here are some examples of articulation that we are going to look at. There is staccato, an accent, tenuto, or a fermata. Now we are only going to look at two this week, and those two are staccato and tenuto. So the first one is staccato and this is when there is a little dot under the note. The dot on a note means that you have to play it short and sharp. I will play a little example for you so you can hear how you need to play staccato. It is all very short when you play and what will help you is using your tongue to tongue the notes just like we've spoken about in class. Now have a little go at playing staccato. I want you to pick a note and play it four times nice and short. Ready? I will count you in. One, two, three, four. Very good. The second symbol for today is tenuto. As you can see with this one, there is a line under the note, and this means you have to play the notes full volume. This just means it sounds stretched out. Have a little listen. This is what tenuto sounds like. One, two, three, four. All the notes sound stretched out so there isn't much of a gap between each note. Now, your turn. I will count to four. I just want you to pick one note and play four crotchets on it, but make sure they are to new to. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. So it's time to have a go at putting staccato and tenuto together. Here we have a little pattern that uses both. I will play it to you first and then I will count you in so you can have a go on your own. This is how it goes. One, two, three, four. Did you hear the difference? Now it's your turn. You can use any note of your choice. Ready? One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Here is our second pattern. Let's have a little go at this one. It uses two staccato and then two to new tone. My turn first and then yours. Let's have a listen. One, two, three, four. Ready for your turn? One, two, three, four. Very good if you are able to play two staccato and then two tenuto. Now on to our third pattern. As you can see, we play staccato, then tenuto, staccato, and then tenuto. Have a little listen to me again, and then it will be your turn. One, two, 
three, four. Now you've heard that be played, it's time for your turn. Pick any note you like. Ready? One, two, three, four. Brilliant, very well played. Now it's time for a challenge. But what I want you to do first is pause the video here so that you can work out the notes of each pattern and then press play again to resume. Hopefully you now have the notes for each pattern. If we look at pattern one, it is all staccato. So I am going to count us in and I will play along with you. Ready? One, two, three, four. Pattern two, staccato, and then to muto. One, two, three, four. Finally, pattern three, staccato to muto, staccato to muto. Ready? One, two, three, four. Amazing, well done. Feel free to go over this video as many times as you like. And if you want to create your own patterns using staccato and tenuto, that would be really, really good. I hope you enjoyed the activities for this week. I look forward to seeing you next week.